Hey guys, it's Vaughn and today I'm finally going to be showing you guys around the inside of Anne Marie's nursery. I'm going to be sharing how I pulled together this practical yet whimsical contemporary princess themed nursery. I'm going to start by giving you guys a 360 degree view of the room. Just a little background, this room is about 250 square feet. I've broken this tour down into categories, so I'll be listing links and any additional information under each category in the description box. So let's start with the entrance. To the immediate left when you first walk into the nursery, you'll see a picture of me. It says Sweet Pea and Me. This was actually a frame that was gifted to Anthony and I at the baby shower. My ship Stephanie made this for us. She snagged the photo off of my personal Facebook page, added the text, and framed it. I liked it so much I had to display it. To the right of the entrance is this playful corner with a couple stuffed toys, a couple DIY canvas frames, and a store-bought print. For these canvases, I used gray acrylic paint and some craft tape, and for the cute little messages, I used gold leaf paint and just freehanded those on there. This print that I got from Hobby Lobby was kind of the inspiration for it all. As you can tell, the colors in this room are gold, white, pink, and gray. There's also a little bit of an animal theme going on in this room, including giraffes, elephants, and lambs. I knew I wanted her nursery to have a jumbo stuffed animal component, so I'm really glad I shopped around and found a good deal on Amazon. I got these two really sturdy, soft stuffed animals, and they occupy this corner perfectly. I wanted to create a nook for both reading and nursing, so to save space, I got these floating bookshelves from Ikea. Here I'm just displaying some vintage golden books from my childhood, this cute little plush lamb I got from Ikea, and some newer books, and I do intend to add to this bookshelf. I got this gray ultra suede rocking chair from Amazon. The color reminded me of an elephant skin, so I thought it fit perfectly with this room. I'm just accessorizing with this one pale pink pillow with Anne's initial on it that I got from the Land of Nod. I went back and forth with this ottoman situation for a while. I had originally ordered a gold one, it didn't work. I wanted to get the one that came with the chair, I didn't want that one either. So I ended up going with this hand woven poof, which I think coordinates really well because it matches the trim of the chair. And this little end table is sort of a restoration project because I was originally going to throw it out and then my sister suggested to me that I paint it white to match the crib. So I spray painted it a semi-gloss white paint. On top I just have this little elephant figurine lamp that I got from the Land of Nod. When I saw this lamp guys, I could not resist. I had to get it immediately. I think it goes perfect with the theme. It's so delicate and cute and it's actually gender neutral. For some added texture and softness, I went for this faux sheepskin rug that I got from Ikea. I really love the softness of it. It really adds a plush feel to the room. For her crib, I wanted to keep it simple while really driving home that princess theme. Originally the crown that I wanted was way out of budget, so I shopped around a bit and found this amazing compromise on a website called A Touch of Class. So for literally a fraction of the price, I got this beautifully detailed handcrafted wall crown with a fleur-de-lis built right into the design. The antique gold finish of this crown dictated the tone of gold that I used all throughout the rest of the nursery. And these beautiful sheer curtains did not come with the crown, I did get those from Target. To add a little decor to the inside of the crib, I did accessorize with a few pillows. Of course these will be removed once she starts to sleep in her crib, but for now they're there for decoration only. This small metallic print pillow came from Bye Bye Baby and the other two from Target. I love the contrast of the different textures and patterns. And this fitted sheet is definitely one of my favorites. I got this one from the Land of Nod. To complete the bedding, I got this sparkly satin trim blanket from Target. We purchased this Graco crib from Amazon. Very affordable, practical, convertible crib, which converts to a toddler bed later. I wanted to show you guys how the curtains look when they're pulled all the way shut. These have very practical uses in the summertime when flies and mosquitoes enter the home. Right next to her crib is her wardrobe, which we've already started to organize. That little area between the wardrobe and the wall, we have a monitoring device that we mounted to the wall, allowing us visibility into her crib from anywhere in the house. This is the Sundvik wardrobe from Ikea. We just switched out the knobs. In here, we're just storing her little shoes that have been kind of collecting some of her more bulky clothing items and coats. And then down below, there's plenty of room for her humidifier and her boppy pillow. And then in this bottom drawer, just pajamas. 
We're using the area at the top of her wardrobe to display some decor items. This first item is a little miniature castle that one of my sister's friends made for us by hand. We just told her our theme and our colors and she just went ahead and painted this little miniature castle. It's so cute. She used Anne Marie's initials and this little crown was just our baby shower cake topper. This adorable infant dress form that I picked up from eBay and I don't remember where I got this cute little stuffed animal. This room gets an incredible amount of sun so we knew we wanted to do understated window treatments. These are from Target. It's just a basic sheer linen curtain material. We went with crystal knob curtain rods to match the furniture hardware, also from Target, and some cream colored satin ribbons to tie the curtains back. Right below the window is this crate that I'm using to store all of her blankets. This is another DIY project because this crate was originally unfinished and used to tote some baby shower gifts. I just finished it with a white semi-gloss spray paint. This cute little plush lamb rocker is from Pottery Barn Kids. I think I was drawn to the fact that I could have it customized with her name. This is something that she can have for years and years to come and it fits perfectly with the theme of her nursery. This little thing is really soft and actually really heavy even though it doesn't look like it would be heavy. So it's definitely durable and going to last. I think it's a really great touch to any darling nursery. We opted for a dresser instead of the traditional changing table because of the flexibility. This is the Hems dresser from Ikea. We just switched out the knobs to align with our theme. The top of this dresser has a lot of surface space. So to fill it in a little bit, I decided to do a little bit of decorating. This is just a giraffe figurine that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just primed and painted it in antique gold using gold leaf paint. Right next to it is just a framed photo from my maternity shoot. As for changing table storage, I got this lined basket from Bye Bye Baby. It was on clearance. Inside, I've just got our Honest Company infant diapers, wipes, baby powder, diaper rash cream, a cute little stuffed animal, and some lotion. For changing, we're just using this Colgate changing pad and I got this changing pad cover from Bye Bye Baby with the cute little infant insert for easy cleanup. I tucked away the safety straps for this video, but trust me, they are still there. Above the changing pad is this vintage looking mirror that I got from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love the antique gold appeal of it, the contouring, the detail. It matches the crown almost exactly and if you look really closely, there is a floor de lis in here. Another quick DIY project that I made on a whim. This is just a dollar store frame. I got this little baby giraffe wooden figurine from Hobby Lobby and behind it I placed a pink and white striped paper that I painted and that was it. Above the changing table slash dresser are two floating shelves. This first shelf is holding a seashell placeholder that I painted gold and a 3D ultrasound of Anne Marie at 26 weeks. This baby giraffe stuffed animal that I got from an infant boutique and these rose gold freshly picked moccasins that she won't be wearing for a while. And I also put here that second little lamb that I got from Ikea. On the second shelf, I just have this letter A initial that I picked up from Michaels. It was the perfect color, I had to get it. This elephant figurine that I painted antique gold, a candle holder that I already had around the house, and this plush lamb stuffed animal that is actually a portable sound machine. And finally, I think I found the perfect little crevice for our diaper genie. <laughs> This full-size dresser seemed huge for her tiny little things, so I opted for the IKEA scub boxes to help organize. I think these little boxes are perfect for organizing infant clothing. What I didn't want is for all of her little things to be sliding around the drawers, with plenty of leftover space to grow. And the final thing that I wanted to show you guys is Anne Marie's closet, which is actually right now not really being used as much of a closet, it's being used as a storage space. The very top shelf is being used to hold my baby carrier, the outlet monitor, some diapers, my nursing equipment, some bath time essentials, and this big beautiful trunk here is actually holding a bunch of diapers. This closet organization system is likely from the container store and we're really taking advantage of this surface space for storage. The area under the shelves we're just using to store some hand-me-down toddler toys for later. Here I just have some cute little dolls and some more ultrasounds on display with those little DIY shells that I painted. For this first drawer, we're just using to store daily essentials. So things that I'll need to reach for at the drop of a dime, I just need it to be easily accessible in this drawer. 
there's another little pull out drawer right beneath it that I'm thinking I'll use for like her bath time towels and her swaddle blankets and all of the little plush things that I'll need to reach for. Right on the side here is her little custom liner hamper that I got from Pottery Barn. Right above that, I'm storing two diaper bags that we got from the baby shower. I'm so excited about these diaper bags. They're so awesome. This first one I know for sure came from Pottery Barn. It's got the custom embroidery monogram initial. I'm in love with the stripes and the gray. Love the brown. I'm actually going to take this bag as my hospital bag. This next one came from Bye Bye Baby. It's from the Skip Hop brand. A lot more compact and a little bit more stylish. I think this is one I'll carry more every day. Guys, this is the end of my nursery tour. I know it's long, but I want it to be as detailed as possible. Please check the description box for links and let me know if you guys have any questions. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.